Hey everybody, welcome back to the brand new video. Today we have the awesome box. This is the Grand Slam Edition. This is a just under $300 box, $289, and you can pick it up on eBay. We'll also be taking a look at their awesome pack. So awesome box and awesome pack today. Originally, I was planning on doing 2022 Tufts minis today. But my package got delayed. I think it was thanks to the uh, all the snow up in Buffalo kind of slowing some things down. So we'll have that for you tomorrow. Tomorrow could be maybe one of the most epic new release days in recent memory of all the cases coming in time. There is four new releases tomorrow in addition to Top's Mini. Maybe I'll, I don't know, maybe I'll film one and do a video every hour. We have... 2022 Tops Heritage Miners. We have 2022 Bowman Chrome. We have 2022 Bowman Chrome HTAs. We've got the Tops Minis. And there's one more. It's on the tip of my tongue. Yes, it's 2022 Mosaic Choice. So five different new releases tomorrow. I'm going to be busy. Also tonight, we have a live stream. Team Break Tuesday making its debut. A new series. Probably won't be able to do it every Tuesday because it does take me sometimes a week straight of sorting cards to do that. So let's check out the awesome box and we'll tell you where you can grab it at on eBay. I'll give you the eBay code. Inside the, well, I'm just going to call it $300 awesome box because there's going to be tax on eBay and uh, probably shipping as well. But inside the awesome box, the $300 awesome box, you will find 12 to 15 hobby packs. And one of those packs is going to be high end. So this is kind of in the same ballpark as the Elite Boom Box, which is a similar price. If I can just get this opened up, we can get this video started here. Hope everyone's having a good Tuesday. It's Thanksgiving week. And uh, can't wait to um, spend some time with the family. And um, we'll, we won't be live with an auction this Thursday. Typically, we do auctions on Thursdays and Sundays as well. But um, this Thursday, we're going to take some time with the family. We'll just push that back a day to Friday. So if you'd like to join us for a live stream tonight, that would be awesome. Team Break Tuesday and check us out uh, in our auction on Friday night. So we have hobby packs. We have extras, extras. Let's check them out. We'll start with the hobby packs and we'll rip all these open and hopefully we'll get some nice hits in here. We're hoping for $300 in return on a $300 box. That doesn't always happen. Everything is like a lottery ticket when it comes to packs, as you probably know. So we have a 2022 archives pack. That's a hobby pack and a hobby pack of Prism as well. We have a 2021. That's Is that a high number pack? It is a heritage high number pack. We've got an update pack and a Series 2 pack so far. So nothing too crazy in the terms of packs. Uh, the Prism one is definitely the best in terms of, or the, I should say, the most valuable. Maybe not the best, but it is. Uh, those, those packs probably cost about 15 each at the LCS. We've got a pro debut hobby pack. Good chance of an autograph in there. We've got an archives pack from last year in a also a Heritage Miners pack. So... What else do we have? More hobby packs. Man, there's a lot of packs here today. We have a Series 2 pack. A very good release. I like Series 2. Love the uh, opportunity to go after the J-Rod. We have Heritage Miners from 2020. That release will come out tomorrow. Here's our high-end pack. It's Tribute, which uh, should have a guaranteed auto in this pack, if I'm not mistaken. So that'll be a good one. More hobby packs to come, folks. Man, we are stacked with packs. If I can get this, uh, find the seam here to get this team bag open, you see an update pack on the top of this one. And we also have a contenders pack from 2021. Oh, man, you know how I feel about contenders. There's also some extras in here. We'll add these to the lineup. We have a, an absolute baseball pack right there. And also, that's 2021 and a, an Allen and Ginter this is a retail pack. I'm not sure about this one. For, for Panini, I can never really tell if they're retail or not. Sometimes they're a little trickier. Tops, the little clue there is they put an H on their hobby packs. So we got some vintage 1990 Fleer and 88 Donruss. We've got a jumbo pack of update. We have more packs. I'm going to run out of space here on camera. We have a Bowman Platinum pack. We have a Big League pack from 2021 and an Optic pack. I believe those are all going to be retail. But let's go ahead and check it out. So all together, man, there's a lot of packs here, folks. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 14. Uh, I think it's 21 packs. Yep, 21 packs, 7 times 3. 
all together. And then we have a thank you pack here as well. And then we'll get into the awesome pack as well. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll start off with the, uh, I don't know, I guess we'll start off with some heritage. Why don't we? We'll do a high number 2021. And, you know, I'm hoping for some hits today. I'm going to guess two relics, one auto would be a nice outcome. Actually, that's that's pretty, that's pushing it. I'm going to say one and one. One Relic, one Auto. The odds of those are 1 in 24, and we don't even have 24 packs here, so that's even, that's shooting high. Here's the 2021 update pack. Actually, we should have an autograph, I guess, if you think about it, because we do have the tribute pack. There was a Bobby Dalbeck rookie card, and there's Cody Bellinger, who'll be a free agent. I think the Giants might look to him, possibly sign him, if they can't get Aaron Judge. Judge and the Giants have been linked in talks, and that's uh, Judge is from that area, so it could happen. I personally hope Judge goes back to the Yankees, just because I like seeing uh, really good good players stay with their teams for their entire careers. There's a Javi Baez card right there, and Cole Calhoun. So, so far, nothing too crazy. Let's go ahead to Big League. I haven't opened Big League in a while. There's Brandon Nimmo. This was a really weird release in the fact that it came out about a year after it was supposed to. We've got Nolan Arenado, Justin Dunn, Jose Abreu, and Matt Chapman. I wonder if they'll get caught up with it and have it back on schedule for 2023. All right, next up, let's go with a kind of bring everything into the middle here as we um, close up this circle of packs. This is the minor league pack right here. Looking for a blue ink auto. And nothing too crazy in there either. I do like my archives, so we'll start with archives. 2021, though, was kind of a weird year. Not a big fan of this release because of just too many different designs with seven different designs. But still like the whole concept of archives. So say Altuve, we got the family postcard there. Charlie Blackman, and last but not least, Edward Olivares. I don't even think we have a numbered card yet, so we really need to get things going here. Let's check out the 2022 pack. And um, 1 in 12 chance of a hit here. We've got Josh Hader. Finally, a numbered card's coming up. And let's see who it's going to be. I hope it's a J-Rod parallel. That would be pretty awesome. It is Ryan Mountcastle. Not too bad. Mountcastle Gold Cup card numbered out of 50. So that's the number one card so far. I'll put the notable cards on the screen so we can keep track of those. We'll do the uh, other Heritage Minor pack now from 2021. We already did the 2020 pack. We've got a Jeremy Pena. That's a nice card right there. It's a minor league card. I like it enough to put it on the screen. Riley Green's a good one as well. Nick Gonzalez, another good prospect. We've got an, an Aaron Aspie. You saw him in 2022. It's numbered out of 99, so our second numbered card. I guess we'll We'll put all the numbered cards out today. Why not? And, man, I don't think I've ever heard of Andre Enebi before. N Nebi. I don't even know how you pronounce his name. Probably, it's probably Neb or something like that. But interesting spelling right there. I'm interested to know how to actually say it. So if you know, let us know in the comments. Let's do uh, Alan and Ginter from 2021. We will be breaking some 2022 Alan and Ginter tonight. That's one of the uh, – that's on the lineup. For the random team break, man, I just love the minis. Get those out of the way. You know I don't love minis, actually. They just they always make my stacks of packs when I'm opening. Like, after I open the cards, I put them in a nice little neat stack off to the side. And if there's some minis in there, it always kind of makes that stack wobbly. It makes me think it's going to fall over. Let's check out our absolute pack next. There's Mike Trout. Found a new product with uh, Mike Trout in it. I don't, uh, I'm not so sure I'm going to pick it up, though. But I did pick up – there's a uh, – it's uh, man, I don't know if I should give it away now because it's a new product, Mike Trout graded card in each pack. I, I didn't buy it, but I'm thinking about it. We'll see. I, I, I kind of suspect it might not be very good though. So um, let's see what else we have. Contenders. Speaking of not very good, these packs drive me nuts. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't mean to complain, folks. I know shouldn't complain about baseball cards but the contenders is one of my least favorite releases every year the past few years at least just because i don't know what it is it just um it just literally looks like a ticket and i just find the design kind of boring 
But we have a chance at an autograph. So there's a JT Real Muto. It is not numbered. Clayton Kershaw, it is actually numbered. It's on the side there out of 149. Clayton Kershaw, that's going to be a purple parallel. And Key Brian Hayes. Maybe I don't hate contenders because right here we have an autograph. Key Brian Hayes. That's going to be a rookie ticket auto right there. So how about that? Key Brian Hayes from the hometown Buccos around here. And that's going to be the best card so far. Very nice. We'll take it. There's Sandy Alcantara, your Cy Young Award winner. And we have a purple Trevor Story at the back end there. It's not numbered. But our first autograph. So we're going to have at least two autos because we have the tribute pack as well, which, if I'm not mistaken, should produce an auto or a relic. Let's check this next one out. It's, a, it's an optic pack right here as we still await 2022 optic. Nothing too crazy in there. Aaron Judge insert card. We have Bowman Platinum which was kind of an unpopular release out there. I saw this on the shelves for months back in 2021. Not a lot of people picking this up, but that's a nice card right there. Andres Jimenez, who was a uh, like a top seven player in the American League this past year. We've got a few packs left. Let's do our Series 2 pack. Maybe finally I'll be able to pull a J-Rod short print for myself, which would be nice. There's Kevin Newman, who's now on the Reds. And it looks like we didn't hit anything in there, unfortunately. But we do have update coming up. Let's do our prison pack next and see what we can find in here. The last three cards or so would be where the auto would fall. That's where all the good stuff is. We have our base cards. Hoping for a J-Rod or Bobby Witt Jr. in there, but we don't have one. But we have a hit here. It is going to be a redemption in the Panini Prism Pack. All right here, folks. Let's see what we've got. We have a Prism rookie autograph of, please be J-Rod, or I, it's probably going to be, man, if it's Wander, that'd be awesome. It is Wander Franco. We'll take that one. A Wander Franco rookie autograph redemption right there. It expires in 2024. So a nice hit. That's a big one right there, Wander Franco. That's the best card so far of the video. In the awesome box, next up we have a pro debut pack coming at us. Good chance of finding an autograph in here and when you stack it up against other boxes, about one in six. And we have one. It's Milcar Perez. He likes to use Sharpie markers, I guess. You don't see that all the time with the big uh, Sharpie marker, but Milcar Prez, not numbered, prospect for the Modesto Nuts. We have three autographs. That's way better than I expected. I was just thinking one with maybe a relic. So I thought I was being a little selfish there when I even walked it back a little bit and said, ah, instead of two and one, let's go one and one. Let's do our update pack next and see what we've got in here. There's Jeremy Pena rookie card. Very nice. Putting that one on the, uh, the lineup. World Series MVP, there's Luis Robert. And Bobby Witt Jr., another nice one. So a good pack right there, a couple nice rookies. And we're going to move into our last couple of packs. Now these two packs here, I, I take packs in for the kiddos in, at my school, and I'm going to put those aside and send those in um, for them to open up. They like opening up those old packs. Even if, a lot of times they don't know who the uh, most of the players are, but they recognize some of the big names. Speaking of big names, let's see if we can find a big name in our jumbo pack. Maybe an another autograph, potentially. That would be pretty awesome to find four awesome or four autos in the awesome box. All right, so hoping for a J-Rod. And so far, nothing too crazy in terms of the base cards. Here comes the good stuff. It looks like we're going to have Cal Ripken Jr. and a Jordan Alvarez All-Star Game card where the auto would be. So that kind of stinks. Jordan Alvarez All-Star card is going to be our big hit. Hunter Green, rookie card's not too bad. Torkelson as well is in there. So two decent rookies. And now we are down to our last pack here in the awesome box. We also have the awesome pack coming up right after this tribute pack so let's check it out the tribute pack should give us a hit jose barrios and the hit will be in the middle alex bregman out of 99 so another numbered card and the hit is going to be paul o'neill out of 175 very nice so there's your lineup from the awesome box we 
<laughs> I was I, I was expecting one autograph from there, and um, I probably should have said two because of the tribute pack. But man, we got four autographs in there, and uh, some pretty nice names too. Paul O'Neill, Hall of Famer in the Yankees Hall of Fame. He's not a baseball Hall of Famer in Cooperstown, but he does have a his number retired and out in Monument Park now, which is pretty awesome. So overall, a good awesome box this month. If you'd like to grab an awesome box for yourself, you can grab these on eBay. So um, if you'd like to pick one up on eBay, I'll give you that code right now. You can go on over there. And this is from River City Cards. And the Grand Slam Awesome Box, which is 289. The code is 374 336 Three nine four one eight two. I'm not sure how many they have available, so maybe check it out. Also check River City Cards and More's feedback. Make sure that um, all their customers leave happy. I'm sure they do because they've. Um, I think we featured them once before on the channel. And now before we go away for the evening, and we'll be back for the Team Break Tuesday. We have the awesome pack. So the awesome pack come at us now. This is pretty cheap. It's only twenty five dollars for the awesome pack i think both of these is one in the awesome pack there's going to be 20 numbered insert cards or base cards 10 rookie cards with one star rookie in each pack one numbered card one relic auto or auto relic so this is a much more affordable option for those of you that maybe want to try an ebay pack uh 25 bucks basically the price of a blaster box right here Let's see what you have in this, if I can ever find the seam. Sometimes, maybe, I don't know. I might need to grow out my fingernails a little bit. Who knows? But anyway, let's see what we have here. have some reds. These are going to be the base cards. Freddie Freeman from 2018, Carlos Correa, and Salvi Perez in the base pack. I think this might be more base cards here. Probably 10 in each pack. Corey Seager. Cespedes is a nice prospect. There's a Trevor Story back in his Rockies days. Clayton Kershaw and Max Scherzer from Stadium Club is the last one right there. So we move on now to our prospect pack. This is going to be 10 rookie cards. It says there's going to be one star rookie in each pack. So let's see the rookie card logos on these. And let's see who that star rookie is going to be. Luis Patino is a pretty good one. Ronzi Contreras is a nice one as well. And the star rookie is going to be Dansby Swanson, rated rookie from 2017 Optic. Nice card right there. We'll take that one, Dansby Swanson. And here are our numbered cards, relic, and autos right here. So here's the hit. We've got a Garrett Cole, numbered to 99, and an Andrew Benatendi as well. So I think this one is included in this uh, awesome pack lineup. And I think this should have the autograph in there. And uh, yes, indeed, it does. The autograph is going to be, man, it's a nice button auto of Tyler Wade. It's a Tyler Wade rookie auto out of 10 from back in 2018. Uh, immaculate. So now to 10 autograph right there. And we have another pack of cards with Paul Goldschmidt, the MVP, leading things off. Manny Machado, the runner-up for the MVP in there as well. There's Rookie of the Year Award, Aaron Judge card, Shoya Tani. Juan Soto is number to 99. Orlando Garcia and a Cody Bellinger rookie card is the last one there from 2017 update. Not too shabby. So there you have the awesome pack. It is 25 bucks. The awesome box. It is approximately $300. There is also a thank you pack from River City Cards and more. So check this out, folks, on eBay if you'd like to grab one. And we will be back tomorrow. Uh, we'll be back tonight with a live stream with a random team break, Team Break Tuesday. But tomorrow's the big day. Potentially, if everything works out and all the cases arrive on time, we could have five new releases. That would be five videos. I, if I do that, I might just do one every single hour. Maybe like one at like 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, or whatever. I'll think of something. And then uh, Thursday's Thanksgiving. We'll have a throwback Thursday. I'll probably do Mark Cataldo's vintage throwback packs that day. Well, a face-off Friday coming for you this week. Saturday showdown as always. So if you'd like to join into any of our breaks, check us out on Patreon. I hope you guys have a great rest of your Tuesday, and I'll see you all tomorrow or tonight in the live stream. Good night, everybody.